Hi, I'm Denise Graves. So, one of the breathing exercises that I do and that I've done since the very, very beginning of my career are hissing exercises. Um, my, very, very, my very first voice teacher gave it to me and I continue to do it to this day. So there's staccato hisses and long legato hisses. And um, my voice teacher said to me when I was a student at the conservatory at um, Oberlin College Conservatory that I didn't have enough lung capacity to have a career. And so she's, she said, she gave this exercise to me to build up my lung capacity. So this is a hiss. So sometimes what I do is a short staccato hiss. So that's, let me stand back so you can see. And you feel the engagement there of your lower abdominals. Those are the same muscles that we use to engage when we sing to support the tone, right? And then you can do a long sustained one. So sometimes if I'm working on a piece and I have a really long phrase to get through and I feel like I don't get through it because maybe I pour out too much air at the beginning of the phrase or I just don't gauge that breath well enough, sometimes I will do it on a hiss first on the melody. I'll just play the melody and then I'll hiss it. And if I, if I know if I've got enough breath to get through it by hissing, then I know that I can, I've got the breath capacity. It's just a question of how I spend it, right? How I use it. So um, that's one of the things that I do. Uh, you can also do that on a V. Sounds like you have a leak but um, I like that. So that's one of the things that I do. And when, when we're working with breath, um, you wanna feel the um, expansion of your rib cage on the sides, also in the back, and then the lower back and in the belly. So seeing, they say sometimes it's like, it's like a barrel. It's like a, everything opens up when you sing, right? You take a breath, you feel your belly pooch out, which I never really liked because I always like wearing really tight dresses and I never liked that, but anyway. And you feel your rib cage expand and you feel your back open and you feel your lower back open. Everything opens up, everybody opens up. It just goes. And then you can do that. And try to keep your rib cage expanded as you exhale. So that's the trick. The trick is to try to keep the rib cage expanded as you deplete air, right? So I'm gonna take a breath. Everybody's open, everybody's here at the party, rib cage is open, diaphragm descends, all of that's open. And as I do that, I'm keeping my rib cage out. That also helps to increase your lung capacity. So I wish you good luck and wonderful recovery. So happy for you and happy to be a part of this. Okay, so now I'm gonna put into practice what we just discussed, right? I'm gonna take a nice low breath, right? And I'm gonna feel the expansion of my rib cage, the descension of my diaphragm, and I'm gonna use those lower abdominal muscles that we talked about in his. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.